guys hi welcome back today's video is going to be a bit different than your regular vlog i just wanted to come on check in make sure everybody's good i know everybody's at home you are safe what it is all you're doing i'm just home trying my best to stay active so i decided to come and do a quick video firstly i want to apologize to all my followers you guys have been sending your those sad messages, those long messages, those messages making me feel so bad and so guilty for deciding to stop and quit and you know yes I thought about it and I realized I mean I shouldn't give up so easily yes the truth is um, I do read some of the comments and for every one bad comment I get I would probably get five nice ones so I don't know why it is I tend to focus on the negatives uh, rather than focusing on the positive ones and you guys do there are a lot of people out there who do send me really really nice messages and I must say thanks very very much I do read them I try my best to respond to all um, they have some messages I get you guys just really make me blush and make my day you know and it's nice it's nice and then again there are the very few messages that I get you know you just get one or two distasteful messages and I would be lying if I tell you that it doesn't bother me, it does. I'm only human at the end of the day, this is very new to me and um, yes I understand when you put yourself out there you have to be able to receive the good and the bad but like I said, I mean, I do try my best to, I try to let it not bother me as much but I'm only human so I would be lying if I say, you know what, I don't take one out there. I do, I do, sometimes I do and you know it's like I wonder what why guys why why would you you know take that time off to, to write something negative about somebody you know before we leave comments like that just think think before you know is this really worth it you know how am i benefiting this person by saying something like this you know come, there's a big difference there's a fine line with constructive criticism and um just being plain old rude and some of you guys oh, they're just rude you know, I have absolutely no problem taking constructive criticism. There are ways in which you could say something without offending somebody. And, you know, to take it into consideration next time. Is this really necessary? You know, why why say something like this? Don't even watch. If it is, I just bother you so much. Don't watch. Don't watch. Before I get into this video, this is just a, a quick get ready with me. I haven't flat ironed my hair in a while. I do that purposely. The reason behind that is because I don't really like to put too much heat on my hair. And... The reason why I decided to do that on flat iron today is because I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys, see how you all go in. I get a few things off my chest and also of lately I've been getting some messages about people asking me to do, um, you know, uh, hair care. Like, okay, basically people have been asking me to show them what products I use on my hair. I find that so strange because I don't really use much things on my hair. Honestly speaking, I don't even think I have nice hair like the way people say hey, you're so nice what do you do what you just use i i don't know i think i need to have nicer hair than me personally speaking i'll be honest i switch in between shampoos i don't use one thing over and over mainly because um i never really got something that really works for me i have more dry textured hair so I need something that is very moisturizing. But at the same time, when I do buy moisturizing shampoos, it still leaves me with dry hair. So, um, so far I've been using, well, this last time I bought Tresemme. I think it's moisture control or something like that. Yeah, but it's definitely Tresemme. And um, I saved this empty bottle for you guys because I finished just last week. With this whole quarantine period, there's long, long lines to, to go anywhere, you know, groceries, drugstores, Pennywise, etc. I went to get a hair mask and there was a long line in Pennywise and they kind of like time in you too because you know they just allow like 20 people in a store. Understandable. So I just had to go run through quick. I didn't really get to spend as much time as I usually like to just read and you know make my decision but I had to just go and pick up something really quick and I didn't even know the price so my eye fell on this. This is um lusty naturals it's an argan oil hair repair mask i didn't even know the price so i just like skimmed through it real fast and i was like once i see like moisture repair hair repair this was really cheap though because when i went to cash it was like ten dollars and something cents yeah like real cheap let me just say twelve dollars for the most right for this big tub yeah it's a 284 grams it finished last week so i can't even show you what it looks like but you can see here 
it's kind of like a creamy texture. Now, the only thing about this though is it is not all natural and you all know me. For those who don't know, I try really hard to stay on the natural side. So when I came home, then I googled it and I pulled up some YouTube videos on it. This is actually selling in the dollar store. And plenty of people had good things to say about it. So I said, you know what, okay, let me try it. I mean, I done buy it already, so let me try it. It was good. I mean, I find the next day my hair felt, it didn't feel as dry. It, it had some volume and there was no frizziness. The only negative thing about it is I find like my scalp was a bit itchy for two days yeah I just felt like it was itching me I don't know if it's this the next thing I use heat protector wise I use this by trust me I've been using this for years and to me it has been working really good like I said I really try my best to keep away from heat as much as possible so that's two for dry shampoo I use this suave personally speaking I am not a fan of this. I bought like five because it was on sale. I think I bought like about five or six and this is finally the last thing that I'm done to and I can't wait for this to finish. So this is not really one of my favorites. Reason being, I don't like the smell. It doesn't agree with me. I don't know. It kind of like, it raises my allergies. One and two, this is the texture here. So like if I put this on my hair. Okay, you wouldn't, see, you're not seeing it. No, you behave a nice because you're on camera. Sometimes it leaves a white, I don't know if you've seen it there, but this is nothing compared to how it is sometimes. Sometimes it leaves a white, um, it's kind of like real powdery and it, you have to like rub it out of your hair like that. So I don't like that for that reason. I don't really like the smell too. So that's for dry shampoo. I was cheap too, I think I paid two dollars for this. It was on Clarence and came out or something like that. So I bought like about five or six. If you all have any recommendations for a good dry shampoo that I can try, please let me know. The same day I went to Pennywise to buy this hair mask is the same day I picked up a leave-in conditioner. Leave-in conditioner is something. The last time I bought a leave-in conditioner, it was by Suave as well. And I didn't like it. It did nothing for me. I'm really not too sure still how to use a leave-in conditioner, how often you use it. But I picked up this one by African Pride and it smells so good. This has shea butter and mango butter. And for hair oils, hair polish, sorry, this is what I use. Again, I bought this at Pennywise. This is a keratin with aloe vera and vitamin E. I like this. I can't, rem I can't remember how much I paid for this though. Not too sure. But this works pretty okay that's it for products that's it for products yeah that's it for products lastly the flat iron that i use is this this is my old faithful i had this since like 2011 or 2012 somewhere around there it's by remington the wet to straight this was a popular one back then i forgot to mention guys i hardly brush my hair you know this year i set a new um so this is how i do it i'll just spray it on and um, leave this to kind of like air dry while the flat iron is heating up and then start yeah so I was saying this year I decided to I made a promise to myself I'm gonna brush my hair every single day because I never used to for days I would just not purposely though purposely because I had liked the look that I used to get when it wasn't brushed or combed out so let me stray from the topic before I forget People wanted to know, I mentioned in one of my posts that I am doing a skin, like a face, I'm purging out my face, right? So this is what it looks like right now. Everything from inside is coming out. The forehead actually clear up a bit. It was not bad hair or hair. I had more um, gunk, as I like to call it, probably on these two sides of my face. So this is what I use, Retin-A. This is, um, 0.05%. This is Stretinoin. I'm not going to get into this because I am not a dermatologist. I have no knowledge. What I know is basic knowledge from my own reviews. I did use this already though when I was suffering with really bad acne. I think I was like 18 or 19 years old and this took about this is a this is not like an overnight procedure this takes a while back then it took me like about almost a year to achieve that glassy skin but I I had a lot of acne so that's why it took me such a long time. So this is how I would do it, I'll just split my hair in half and then split the bottom in half again. So guys, how are you all dealing with this quarantine period? I know it's harder, 
it's really hard it's hard for me as well i've decided to well i've started looking into online courses nu nutritionist courses you know i always like talking about health uh, not fitness health and i like to talk about more like weight loss not really muscle and gains but more like weight loss it was more like something that i realized i was passionate about and uh, so I have no problem studying it to define myself. It's all about lifestyle change, it's all about positive changes. For those of you asking about my products, sales went down drastically. And it's understandable because that's the last thing some people want or could afford right now, you know, and even if they could afford it, that's the last thing on their mind right now. Everybody's more studying food and basic necessities. And that's fine. But at the end of the day, guys, if you could afford it, we still have to take care of ourselves. So I'm here if you all need me. Back to YouTube. Um, a lot of people have been messaging me, asking me about skincare and hair care and do what, what I eat in a day. So I don't know, you know, it's something that I might consider doing. Apart from the vlogs, there's, all, there's not so much you can vlog right now. You know, everything is at an all time standstill. We're really not supposed to be out unless you have to go to the grocery. It's like an emergency. Sarah's birthday is coming up. She'll be turning 18 on the 27th of April. So this year was supposed to be a nice milestone birthday party, unfortunately. We'll have to do something at home, but we'll celebrate after. Hopefully this is all done and over with soon. Okay, so the bottom is finished. See, my hair really doesn't take long to, to flat iron. Believe it or not, I just have one clamp. And I'm so desperate to come out of the house. I might actually go out the road just to buy a clamp for my hair. My hair hasn't seen heat in months. Which is good. Are you guys cooking a lot? I'll be honest, I miss Chinese food. I love, love, love Chinese. A lot of shrockery here shrines. What about my gym people? Are you all sticking to your at home routine? Are you all exercising at home? I've always been, for the later part of it, I've, I've been um, into healthy eating and food combining and whatnot. So I have absolutely no problem just doing that. I, told, I hate to exercise. Honestly, I rather eat a cardboard box for the entire day than to go in a gym and work out. See your gray hair? Good gray hair. Okay, so this is it. So usually after this is completed, this is where I will go in with my hair polish. So let me just make sure I have no hair dropping. So I go in with my hair polish. Just a small amount like this. I don't know if you all see it. And really just focus on the ends because if it is you put it closer to the scalp it tends to look oily and your hair doesn't really have that bounce so yeah so I just focus it on the ends and wherever you might see hair sticking out that's it for my basic hair care that's all I do honestly that's all I do so that's it guys um thank you so much for taking me in and listening to what it is I have to say I hope you guys are doing well I hope you guys are staying safe and um, try not to be too bored I know how hard it is sometimes but let's use this opportunity to better ourselves and you know purge ourselves a bit not just physically but internally as well all right so I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful week ahead and I will see you guys in my next video yes and make sure and message me and let me know what it is you all are interested in seeing and I'll try my best to really put it out there guys before I go let me say a special hi to Kavir he messaged me on Instagram a couple days ago saying that um he started back watching my vlogs over because he has nothing new to watch he goes by the username of Hennessy TT on Instagram thank you so much honey you made my day you sent me such a nice message and it's always nice to hear from you guys okay so stay safe, keep good, and I will hear from you all soon. Bye.